Hi everyone, this is Anurag. Today, in this tutorial, we are going to see the practical session, practical demonstration of creation of files. Now, see here, we are in root directory. Now, I want to go in, into book directory. For that, I have used the command cd space book. Now, I am in book directory. Now, I want to create a file by using cat method. How to create a file? Cat space greater than symbol f1. I am creating a file called f1. Now, cursor is blinking. That means we are inside the file f1. We need to enter some data. Enter some data like this. Okay. Control C to save and exit from the file. Now, to see the contents of file cat space f1. It is showing this contents. Okay. Now, I want to append some data into this file. That means adding some more data to this file. How can I add a data into this file? By using cat space double greater than symbol f1. Again cursor is blinking. That means you are in the file. Write some data. Enter a, enter b. Okay. Control c. Okay. Now cat space f1. What it is showing? It is showing the contents of file. Okay. It is showing the contents of the file. Now what I want is I want to edit some edit this file. Can I edit this file? No. This is the disadvantage with cat command. Now, if I want to change this two to uh, one two three to some characters, I cannot change. Okay. This is first disadvantage. And second disadvantage. Let us see. I am appending some more data. If I enter one two three and second line, I have I have given this much big line. Now in the same line, I have pressed Control C. Now see the contents. Cat space f1. Is it showing the last line? No. The last line is not saved. Okay. This is the one more disadvantage. Now I forgot that I have created file f1. See the contents of f1. One, two, three. Something is there. Okay. I forgot that I have created this file f1. Now I want to create a new file with the existing file name, and I will add some data a, b, c. Okay. Control C. Now see the contents. Cat space f1. The new data is saved. Okay, the old data which is present in the file is removed. Is this good? No. That's why this is a very big disadvantage with cat command. So now there is a one more sophisticated method of creating files. Is there? That is vi. How to create a file by using vi? Let us see. Vi space f2. A blank page appeared. Now, if you want to enter data, you cannot enter. First, press I. When you press I, you will go into insertion mode. Okay. Now, enter some data. A, B, C, D, E. Okay. Like this, I have entered data. Now, I want to save and exit from the file. So, press Escape. If you press Escape, you will come out of insertion mode. Go to colon mode. W, say Q. W to save the file. Q to quit the file. If you want. You can use forceful option. Here we have saved the file. Again, if you want to see the data present in F2 file, use the command vi space F2. It shows the same content. Okay. Bottom it is showing file name. See file name, file lines, ten characters. Okay. How ten characters? A B C D E. Five characters. After that, I have pressed enter. Right. That enter is also counted as a character. Okay. Now I want to edit this file. Press I. Write some data. Okay, I have edited some data. If I don't want to save this data, just press Escape, press U. That's it. U means undo. It will take back to the last changes. Okay, save and exit. If you want, you can use exclamatory mark. Sometimes, it if it is not allowing to quit at that time, use forceful quit. That is exclamatory mark. Okay. This is about VI. Now I forgot that I have created file F2. I will create a file with the existing file name. What happens? Again, the da same data will be displayed. That means intentionally, if you want to remove only, you can remove the data. Otherwise, you cannot remove the data. Unknowingly, you cannot remove the data. Okay? This is by using VI. Now, can I see the data of VI by using cat? Yes, of course. Can I see the data of file? Which is created? Can I see the contents of a file which is created by cat? Yes, of course, we can see like this. Understood the concept, right? If you want to save the file, you can use V. If you want to edit the file, it is better to use VI. 
so there is a next method called as touch let us see how to create several files by using touch method so touch space f1 space sorry f3 space f4 space f5 space f6 space f7 i have created these files now see you are in this directory see the contents f1 f2 already have created these files have created just now by using touch command to edit these files to add some data into these files again use cat or vi this is about files now let us see how to create linked file sorry hidden files cat space greater than symbol dot for example h1 i am creating a hidden file called as h1 dot h1 is the representation of the hidden file write some data press control c that file is saved now cat space dot h1 you can see the data but i want to know first that h file h1 file is there or not if i type ls it will just show the files it won't show the hidden file to see the hidden files use the command ls space hyphen a it is showing the hidden file also understood the concept this is how to create a hidden file now let us see how to remove a file here in this directory this many files are there if i want to remove a file what should i do let us see one minute I'm clearing the screen pwd ls five files are, several files are there i want to remove the file f7 f f uh, f1 or f5 anything if i give rm space f5 it will show should i remove the file f5 it is asking yes like this okay if i want to remove all the files at a time rm space hyphen rf space f7 which remove all the file sorry star which removes all the files simultaneously now see the contents nothing is there understood right now let us see how to create linked files cat space greater than symbol f1 suppose this is the data this is a file i am entering into this this data cat space f1 it is showing this content now i want to create a soft link ln space hyphen s f1 space f2 now cat space f1 it will show this content cat space f2 it shows the same content now how to see whether it is a hidden file or linked file just give the command l l enter what it shows it shows all the list of contents along with the linked files see here normal file is represented by this hyphen in the starting and linked file is represented by l okay linked file color is also changed blue color it is pointing to f1 that means it is a soft link created over f1 understood the concept now let us see how to create hard link and what is the difference between hard link and soft link cat space f1 okay now i will create a file by using cat cat space f1 space f3 one minute one minute sorry ln space f1 space f3 that is ln means linked files now see the contents there are three files f1 f2 f3 okay f2 is a soft link f3 is a hard link now see cat space f1 it shows contents of f1 uh, cat space f2 it shows the same contents cat space f3 it also shows the same contents okay now what i will do i will remove the file how can i remove the file rm space f1 it is asking should i remove the file yes now i am clearing the screen ll what it is showing f2 color was changed from uh, sky blue color to red that means that f1 file on which this file is created that f1 file is removed now if you see cat space f1 it don't it doesn't show anything cat space f2 again no such file or directory cat space f3 but it shows the content it shows the content okay this is a hard link again if i create f1 file what happens what it shows again in a b c okay control c now see the contents of f1 ll ll enter again f2 became active previously it is shown in red color now it is changed to blue color again that means it was active again okay see the data now cat space f1 it shows a b c and cat space f2 it is also shows the same data why because it is a soft link 
cat space f3 it shows the previous data so the concept right this is linked files hope you enjoyed the session let us meet in our next session bye